Welcome to part number 21 of Gran Turismo 5 A Spec. This is the Moving Chicane, and today we're doing the Lupo Cup. And I'm insane enough to do this. The Lupo Cup consists of all the Lupo Cup cars, the little race cars, and I'm gonna do this event. with a stock factory Lupo. I don't know why, don't ask. Let's just do this. It's time for us to go up against the little race cars and let's see if we can have any shot of winning this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna upgrade the tires, that's it. The so one lap around the Nürburgring Nordschleife and we're going up against all the cup cars, so these are all the, the little race cars. They're about an extra horsepower, I want to say, and they have obviously racing parts, so like transmission, suspension, weight reduction, and whatnot. Okay, let's see if we can do this. Look at that, it's all race cars versus one road car. Can we get the job done? Fuck, if we can do the Red Bull events, I think we can do this. We're gonna have to drive our asses off, but yeah, we'll, we'll pull it off, I think. Oh look, it's a track that's driven on a bunch already because of the AMG Driving Academy. Do I know how to drive on the Nurburgring now? Yay. This isn't as difficult as I thought it would be. Then again, we're not on the long straights yet, where those cars obviously have an advantage. Already up to fifth. I mean, white isn't bad. I don't think white's too boring on some cars. Some cars look really nice in white, like the Supra Mark III. Hell, even the Mark IV Supra. Uh, NSX's look badass in white, especially like Type R Hondas in general look really good in white. Um, what else? What else? Difficulties on sleep? Oh, dude, don't... Bro, don't break there, por favor. I just squeezed my way through to the lead. At this point, the cars could actually... Oh yeah, GTO looks good in white as well. Yeah, this isn't actually as bad as I thought it would be. I thought it would be much worse, but no. This isn't that bad. Hmm, five second penalty. Hey, Ready Star, what's up, dude? Yeah, I mean, Civics in white, like I said, Type R Civics look really good in white. Championship white to be exact. Integra Type R as well, and a Sex Type R. Championship white. But yeah, this race isn't really that bad. Maybe I should left Comfort Softs on as like a BOP, but then again... Dude, this is a stock Lupo, not even a race car. How are we doing this? Oh, hell yeah, the Mines. The Mines cars look really good in white. I like the Mines logo, how it's like an cursive, it's kind of like a signature style looking logo. Looks sick. And I messed up that corner. 
We haven't quite a second lead, so we're not doing the ring. No boy, we're driving slow. Gun Gunmetal Gray. Okay, Jesus Christ. Watch the road, not the chat. Anyways, Gun Gunmetal Gray Metallic is the best color on any R32. Doesn't matter if it's the R. Wait, the R32. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doesn't matter if it's the GTR model or the GTS. Does not matter. Oh yeah, I forgot about the Mill Millennium Jade Metallic color. the lads at. The B-Spec race here was incredibly competitive. I think Kobayashi was driving, if I remember correctly. Now he's boss of the wheel and is kicking ass with stock Lupo. But yeah, Millennium Jade is a really nice color, but Bayside Blue looks so good on an R34 color. But it's light and yellow, and I don't know, man. M BMW and her log is blue. I don't know. Like at the same time, it's like another good combination for blue colors is uh, any Honda NSX and Monte Carlo blue pearl, or any S two thousand Long Beach blue pearl. Looks really good. The worst color co color combo in any car. I don't know. Pink bits. Pink LFA. The drunk Brit be like. No lads at. Yeah, pink on any car. I mean, wait. Matte colors on any car. Almost any car. Because matte in general is just. I don't know. Like, I've seen some people at school paint their cars like matte black with matte black rims, and it's just disgusting. Android, that's a nice car. What are you talking about? The purple stripes? That's mine. You know, that feeling when you've done the Red Bull event, I don't know, 123 times? And yet, you come here to the Lupo at Nürburgring, and this doesn't even feel long. Plastic dips? Like, what the hell? Highlighter Green Civic? I don't know, highlighter cars just, ew. Like, highlighter colors just don't fit on cars. See, that's why I have my Rice channel on my Discord, because it's like, dude, what, what are some people thinking when they ever they customize their cars? I mean, TBR does it right. That's the thing. It's part of like, it's part of who they are. It's part of their manufacturing, you know. Blue or black for the R8? I don't know. That's a difficult choice, dude. That's really a difficult decision to make, on, like, in terms of uh, colors and cars and whatnot. I don't know, man.
Thank you, Jason. Oh, really, Sean? I mean, okay. Well, if that's the case, then that makes sense. But people who, people who go and paint the car all matte black, and like you can tell that it's been painted with like a paintbrush because you can see like the like the skid marks in the side of the car and shit. Like, dude, I've seen some dude who at school. I think he drives like a Infiniti. I want to say not not the 1230 AM Rice, but um, this dude at school who drives an Infiniti. It's like matte black with matte black rims, and you can tell he did the job himself. You can see like brush marks and stuff, and it's just it's disgusting. And yay, we did it. We win the Lupo Cup with a stock Lupo. Oh wow, there was a fight for second. Did you guys see that? Spinelli and Mara, they actually swapped places, right? It was a photo finish. Oh shit. You know what I'm gonna do? Because why not? I'm gonna save the replay and um, let's take a look at that photo finish for a second. I'm gonna jump cut right now. Let's see what happens here. So here we are. Yeah, I wish we had that little fight. Hopefully it catches the finish. Hopefully we can see the finish. Hopefully the replay doesn't fade to black or anything. Oh, okay. We see right there. He just got him right there at the corner. Okay. Not really much at the very end, I guess. But... Okay. <laughs> F F2 Lupo with DRS edition. I don't think the GTI is too OP. I just think it's like... If we had the standard Lupo, like the 1.4, I think it would have been even more challenging. But... I don't know, we didn't get that car in NB. Instead... We get that car in A-Spec. Yay, just what, just what I wanted, right? Another fucking Lupo. You win a total of four Lupos in A-Spec and B-Spec together. Why? I don't know. Oh, it's in blue? I thought it was in black for a minute. It's like, yay, an another Lupo. Why? I, I, don't, I don't know. Yeah, two Priuses and two Lupos. Exactly. Here it is. Oh boy. Okay, so that is it for the Lupo Cup. Next time on Gran Turismo 5 A-Spec, we do the next one, ma one make slash manufacturer race, and that'll be the Lamborghini Exclusive.